Hello. Today I'd like to share a project update with you, one that's been many years in the making. I've also had the pleasure of working with my brother on this project, and without him and his hardware expertise, this would just be an idea. What we have here is a fully programmable microwave kiln using standard consumer grade microwaves, much like the ones in the background, but with an additional set of hardware that's been fit on top. As you can see here, this is not a standard microwave screen. We've developed custom software to run on top as our kiln controller, and I believe it has uh, several advanced features that you probably won't see on a standard, uh, standard kiln controller, one which I can show you here shortly so that you have a good comparison. Much like a regular microwave, we do have a simple microwave implementation. This was very useful for testing uh, the controllability of the magnetron, the turntable, and everything else that, you, that we have access to during uh, control. But, as you can see here, there are many more options. So, this is the primary uh, kiln controller screen. Uh, as you can see, we have full touch support. It has our uh, controllability here for starting stopping cycles we have the ability to choose cycles to edit cycles as well we have graph support and a full cycle designer uh, screens on kilns and uh, other hardware devices are not very large but we did try to maximize the space here uh, and offer a few uh, different niceties such as some overlays uh, where you may want to see um, reference temperatures. These are customizable. We also have capabilities of editing remotely uh, through phone or tablet or other device support. So this can be useful um, and has been useful for uh, designing cycles. It was important to me to also be able to support multiple profiles so we can design profiles, clone profiles, um, and profiles hold various things around your settings. Uh, things like which units you prefer uh, for your temperature readouts as well as your crucible profiles. There are pro profiles here for crucibles. This is one of those settings that you probably would not find on a traditional kiln. Whereas a traditional kiln will heat from the outside, microwave kilns heat from the inside of the crucible using susceptors. So it's important to have variability and control uh, for how temperature readouts and how cycles are, are done. This leads into one of the main differences that you'll find with our microwave kiln, which is the ability to edit uh, temperature readouts through estimations and sensor readings with an expression builder. Let me give you an example. We can define start and end times and start and end temperatures and build a mathematical formula with various uh, variables that are uh, calculated throughout a kiln cycle and throughout various segments of that cycle. This supports uh, many operations, supports direct sensor readouts, Having this feature is an important difference from a standard kiln because traditionally thermocouples are used to get fairly precise temperature readouts. With microwaves, we're very limited with what we can introduce inside of the microwave cavity. Furthermore, coupling is non-linear, so we have to be able to support throughout the cycle various different temperature calculations in order to accurately read the internal temperature of the crucible. For those new to my channel, this is the traditional kiln which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. It has a very good controller on it, the Genesis 2.0, uh, but there still is not enough control and flexibility necessary for microwave centering. But here is what the Genesis 2.0 looks like when designing cycles and segments.
As you can see here, there is some various readouts. I think that's actually working. While we have considered selling this commercially, there are plenty of hurdles to overcome until that's even a possibility. So for now, this is going to aid my hobby level centering and additive manufacturing uh, greatly. This will allow me to produce more consistent results, test various materials, be much safer, and hopefully uh, allow me to produce uh, more content to show what can be done in a uh, hobby level garage setup. So thank you very much. Good night.